Hey y'all, if you're like me and love all things nature, culture, and cocktails, or maybe you're just itching for a change of scenery, allow me to help you out. Let's take a trip to the beautiful island paradise of Isla Mujeres. All right, guys, I'm headed to Isla Mujeres to find the best bars and best bartenders. Let's do this. If you've never heard of Isla Mujeres, that's okay. It's kind of a hidden paradise after all, but it's also surprisingly easy to get to, as long as you have a passport. First, take a quick flight down to Cancun, Mexico, depending on where you are. Then a short drive to the shore, hop on a ferry, take in the sights, enjoy some live music. You're there. Look behind me. Hey, look at this. This is all good stuff. This is awesome. I'm gonna stick to the point though. We're here for cocktails. And of course, drinks ain't free, y'all. So first, we needed some monies or pesos. No trip is complete without a trip to the Banco. <laughs> we have to have something to buy all these cocktails with, right? Then we needed the guide. Luckily, I have an inside woman. Hey, hey how, are, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Welcome good to, to the you. island. Thank you, thank you. Adhara has family ties here on the island and knows way more than me. I've been working on my Spanish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good night, como vas? Uh, uh, not that much, not that much. <laughs> you know, but it, it, it's, it's getting there. Rosetta Stone, 15%. Okay, hola, que tal, como estas? Okay, so hola, I'm hola. okay. Oh, great, great, great. I'm, I'm like, moving in, moving in. <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so I'm nowhere near fluent, but I know enough that if I'm on Isla Mujeres, then I'm on the island of women, <laughs> giggity. Which definitely explains some of the artwork around here, like the statue of the goddess Ishel. The goddess represents all the Mayan culture, the fertility, the femininity, all of it represents a woman, you know? That's a beautiful part of the name. It is a beautiful name, and seriously, how gorgeous is this place? Oh, this is awesome. At Hara says on a clear night, you can see the city lights from Cuba, from the easternmost part of the island, which also happens to be the first part of Mexico the sun hits every morning. Uh, good morning, Mexico. It's no wonder it's attracted people from so many cultures and developed such a culture of its own. Besides, like a Mayan, Caribbean, Mexican, you know, it's like a really important It's a really big mix, a huge hodgepodge of different cultures. Yeah, we have a mix of that culture, and now. In this time, you can find a lot of people around the world. Speaking Canadians, French, Asia. There's a lot of culture Italian here. The, the most famous food here is Italian. I was about to say, I was like, it's gotta be good culinary wise. Italian, yeah. You guys eat good. And needless to say, when we were there, uh, we drank good too. <laughs> Over the next few videos, I'll be giving you just a taste of some of the best cocktail-related experiences Isla Mujeres has to offer. We'll visit a family-run bar and restaurant with deep roots on the island and some serious skill behind the bar. We'll eat world-famous wings, learn all about tequila, drink out of a smoking skull, grab a drink from a bar that just happens to be attached to a dolphin sanctuary, and a few more adventures and cocktails along the way. Trust me, you won't want to miss a thing from our trip to Isla Mujeres.